first big story that I covered was Selma. Uh, I, again, I was uh, this this was another example of an assignment that became somewhat more extended than we had thought. I was sent down to Selma for what they thought would be a couple of days. Um, in 1965, uh, Martin Luther King led or was trying to lead, intended to lead a march uh, from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, this came on the heels of a demonstration that some of the civil rights organizations had massed in Selma uh, that took them across uh, a structure called the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And while they were on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, uh, the Alabama state troopers opened um, fire on them with uh, gas grenades, tear gas grenades. Uh, and it was something of a riot. It was really one of the first times, I mean, a riot in the sense that people were frantic. I don't mean that they were, that they were throwing things at the police, but they just ran, were trampled. A lot of people were injured, as I recall. Uh, and the, the end result of that was, and it was one of the first times, not the, but one of the first times, that uh, news video of that particular event uh, so outraged the rest of the country that civil rights supporters gathered in Selma, Alabama, and the Reverend Martin Luther King uh, announced that he was going to lead this march from Selma to Montgomery. Uh, so what was to be, they sent me down there in the wake of the, of the action on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And I thought I was going to be down there for two or three days. I ended up being there for three weeks. Um, it was hard for me. Um, and remember, at that time, I, I guess I'd just turned 25. I was still very young. Uh, and felt great sympathy and empathy for the civil rights marchers, uh, but also understood that my job there was to be as objective as I could be in my coverage of it. Uh, and so I felt I can't, you know, I can't do both. And I remember I called Grace Ann one evening and said, you know, I think I'm going to have to quit. And she said, why? And I said, because I think my place ought to be marching with these people. Uh, and she said, uh, you know, I don't understand. I've only known you five years, but for five years, all I've heard you talk about is how much you want to be a reporter. And you're finally a reporter, and you're working for a network, and you're on a big story. And it seems to me that this is what you ought to be doing. Well, I clearly wanted to be convinced, uh, because there was no more talk of my quitting and marching with the demonstrators. Uh, and, uh, but your point is well taken. It is, it is hard sometimes to keep your personal feelings separate from the reporting that you do. Uh, and I think the answer to that is simply that you're allowed to have personal feelings. Uh, and it's, it's foolish to pretend that you don't have them. You're just not allowed to let those bleed into your, into your, into your work, into your reporting.